Welcome back guys to another video and today we're gonna speak about the Ledger Nano S Plus. This Ledger is supported by 1,800 or well over 1,800 coins and NFTs which you can store on this device and it is open software which we like a lot. The Ledger Nano S Plus is a hardware wallet where you can store your coins offline away from exchanges which can get compromised. We highly recommend using a hardware wallet to store your assets so you don't lose them and you are safe. In today's video, we will unbox the Ledger Nano S Plus and you will see what's in the box. And then we also show you how to set the whole thing up, how to download the software, and then later on get your first coins on your Nano Ledger S Plus and then also send them away. Important to know is that if this plastic film is somehow damaged and you think somebody opened your Nano Ledger S Plus already, then please contact Ledger immediately so they can send you a new device because somebody may be tampered your device, um, it might be compromised and then your assets are at risk. So we took a good look on our device or at the packaging and we don't see any uh, damage to it or that somebody tried to tamper with it. So we can open it up. So let's remove the safety film and then get to the device. All right, Ledger Nano Plus. The Ledger is the smartest way to secure and buy and grow your crypto. And you can store well over 1,800 assets and NFTs, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and more on this device. We are open source and developer friendly. Let's open it up and let's see what is in the box. Packaging is very nice, as we know from Ledger. And first up, when we open up, we see an orange envelope with the secret recovery sheet where we can uh, write down our seed phrase. There's probably also an instruction manual. So we have one recovery sheet, two recovery sheets, and three. We actually have three different recovery sheets uh, where you can write down your seed phrases or one seed phrase and then store it in different places so you are safe if you should lose your device but later on more on that okay on top we see our ledger which looks like a usb stick very nice with two uh, buttons on top small lcd display let's remove the safety film yeah and then resilience by design and then on the side we will have our USB-C port. All right, let's remove this and then ledger.com slash start is where you start your journey with the ledger to set it up. As well, we don't, you don't need anything besides Ledger Live and yourself. Please take some time to do this, set aside 10, 15 minutes and do this carefully, watch this video because uh, once you lose your seed phrase or do something wrong, then you will be locked out of your device and maybe lose your assets. All right, you don't need anything. Buy Bitcoin, send, receive, exchange, grow, secure, and sell crypto. A little getting started manual. Make sure to go through all that to get familiar with the software, use care, regulate statements, and then some ledger stickers. And I believe down here will be the cable which we will use for our computer. All right. And there should be a little keychain if you want to attach your ledger to your keys, for example. And we have a little cable USB C to USB A. And this is all we have in our package. Next, we have to go to the official site of Ledger, which is ledger.com. The website will be also down in the description, so you can securely click on that and then bookmark the site. Please be careful and do not click on any fishy links and then just order the device from the official ledger.com website. Don't buy the device from any other retailers, resellers, because they might have done something to the ledger or unpacked it and then your assets are at risk. Only use the official devices, okay? Then we can go to our official website, ledger.com, and then with the products, you can scroll to the different products, but also we will have some reviews on the different products of Ledger. So please check out the videos above here and you will see the other Ledger versions. Let's download the app, the Ledger Live app. If you click on that, then you will have a short instruction on the Ledger Live app and we will download it here. 
You can choose between Windows app, Mac app and Linux app. For our case, it will be the Mac app and we will download that real quick. After the installation of the app, we have the app on our desktop and we are ready to go. So the first step will be to connect your ledger to your computer. This ledger version or this stick doesn't have any battery inside, so it will only turn on if you connect it to the computer. Once you connect it, you will hear it click and then it is securely connected. Welcome to Ledger Nano S Plus. Press the right button to continue. So on the top, you have two different buttons you can click on and we'll click on top. Download Ledger Live at ledger.com slash start and press right. We have done that. Use button to navigate menus and lists. Press button, press buff. Press both buttons to select, so to confirm something. And then hold both buttons anytime to access settings and more. Start the Ledger Live app for help during the setup. And setup is a new device. This is exactly what we want to do. So we confirm with two buttons. Choose a pin with four to eight digits. So we're gonna confirm one more time. Let's select 000 for this case. And with two buttons, we again confirm. We have to reconfirm the pin one more time. Okay, write down your recovery phrase. I will explain to you why it is important to set a pin. Setting a pin on your ledger device is very important and it is kind of similar to your credit card pin. So if someone finds this ledger and he hooks it up to your computer, then he can access all your funds. But if you have a pin on your ledger device, then he has to enter the pin first before he can even move any assets or see the assets. Therefore, always secure your ledger with a pin code. Next up, we have the recovery phrase. To learn about the recovery phrase, there is something you need to know. The recovery phrase is used or seed phrase is used to recover your wallet. Your wallet is created on the blockchain and your coins and tokens are stored on a blockchain as well. They're not stored on a device, they're not stored on a computer, they're not stored on your phone. They are in the blockchain and therefore they are safe there. And you are ensuring or you're securing your wallet with the ledger because you have to then confirm uh, all the transactions with the ledger and then also if you want to access your coins then you have to use the ledger okay let's confirm write down your recovery phrase this device will generate 24 words they are your recovery phrase next it is only a backup to restore your account if you need it so in case you should lose the ledger and you have the pin code you're not really at risk or something someone steals your ledger you're not really at risk um, unless they know your pin code for the ledger and then if you yeah want to restore your wallet you just simply buy a new ledger uh, enter the seed phrase and then you have your funds back or you have the access back to your wallet. Same if you should lose uh, your pin code, then you have to restore your wallet and then set a new pin code. So if it's turned only back up to restore your account if needed, write it down on your recovery sheet in the, con uh, in the correct order, press both buttons to continue. Okay, and now Ledger will give us each single word of the 24 ones and we will write them down in our little recovery sheet paper and let's do that. Best case scenario is you write it down on all three ones and then you will um, yeah, hide them in different places in case one of them gets lost or damaged, then you have two more in two different places so you can recover your wallet. Once you have noted all your 24 words on all the three papers, then we are ready to continue. Uh, press left to verify your 24 words, press both buttons to continue. We are pressing both buttons, confirm your recovery phrase. Uh, confirm the first word and we have to see if it's the same. first word, okay. This is our first word. Now confirm the second word and yeah, Ledger will guide us through, through the 24 words and we have to confirm each word in Ledger. If it's not the correct word, then you have to just press the next button and then confirm with two buttons again. Once you have confirmed all 24 words on your little ledger device, we are ready to proceed. Your recovery phrase is set, keep in I to secure, uh, keep it in a secure. Once you have confirmed all 24 words, we are ready to continue. Your recovery phrase is set, keep it on a secure place. If it's lost or stolen, forgotten, all your assets will be immediately lost. Never share it with anyone, ledger will never ask you for it. Exactly, never share it with someone. Do this in a private place, do it in a quiet place, take your time. It will take you 10 to 15 minutes to set it up correctly and then once set, it's done. Press both buttons to continue, let's do that and we are proceeding. 
your device is ready to use go to the dashboard and our ledger is correctly done now we can go into our ledger live app which we have installed on the computer and click get started we can select here which device we have we have the ledger nano s plus and select this one first time using your nano s plus set up a new nano s plus or already have a recovery phrase you can also set up your nano s plus on the desktop but we did it on the device itself let's do it on desktop too because we want to see our balances here so we have already a recovery phase connect your nano s plus genuine check now the ledger live will check if our device is genuine we simply click check my nano and it will check if it's a genuine device we have to confirm on the device and it's all good your nano ledger s plus is genuine ready to use with ledger live let's continue wallet recovery made easy we don't want to do that we always want to store our seed phrase offline um, it's very controversial that ledger is actually offering the service of backing up your seed phrase online uh, we will not state our opinion about that but storing your seed phrase online or taking a photo of it and then storing it on your phone or any way of digitally storing your seed phrase defeats the purpose or the whole purpose of having an offline wallet or a hardware wallet. The whole purpose behind that is just having your crypto and the private keys offline so nobody can access it and hackers have a hard time to reach you anywhere to your assets. So please don't store your seed phrase online. We say we don't want it. So we cross it out and we are in our Ledger Live app. Now, first thing first, we have to update our firmware. So let's do that quickly. And the firmware is updating the device. So please do not unplug it from your computer and just leave it as it is. Once done, we have to confirm the updated version on our Ledger device and it will reboot. We have to enter our PIN. So we remember the PIN code was 000. All right, we are updated. Now we can go back into our dashboard and we can start installing apps. Apps are the different uh, blockchain networks which we can install onto the ledger and then store our crypto on it. So let's allow quickly ledger to manage the software. And now in the software we can see we can install Bitcoin, Ethereum, Binance Chain, XRP, Solana and so on. Keep in mind that not all the apps and networks are supported by every single ledger device. So some uh, networks are not supported in the Nano S Plus and you will have to grab, for example, the Nano X and vice versa. The Nano X doesn't support all the things the Nano S Plus support. So please read on on the website which one uh, of your networks maybe is not supported and then you can make your purchase choice. Uh, for our case, we will just use Ethereum. So we will install the Ethereum app that will take just a little bit of time. And once it is installed, we can finally send or receive our very first crypto tokens and then later on send them away. Once you installed your first app, which will be Ethereum, then we can manage our accounts, which means that we will create a new wallet address. Open the app, Ethereum. That's correct. We want to know. Okay. Go back, open the app Ethereum. Application is ready. And on the Ledger Live app, we can see that our account is being created. Now we can give the account the account name. Default is Ethereum 1. The next one will be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, we will just leave it as it is and add a new account. The account has been added successfully. We click done. And we have now, if we go to accounts, our very first Ethereum wallet. If we click that wallet, then we can buy some crypto or receive crypto. Let's receive some crypto from our MetaMask. Probably you will have some crypto on your centralized exchange like Binance. Then you can send it from there as well. Simply click withdrawal and then you will have to paste the wallet address from your ledger. Let's find our wallet address. We have our address on Ethereum right here. Simply click here to copy the address and then you also have to verify the address on the ledger compare the two addresses the one is here on the screen the other one is in the ledger looks same and then we can 
approve. All right. Now we have to go into our MetaMask. For that, we open up MetaMask and have to log in. Once logged in, we see we have some funds in MetaMask and now we want to send the funds to our Ledger account. Simply paste the address in, select how much you want to send. Let's send 0.05 Ethereum to the Ledger. Hit next, we will see how much it will cost to send us. In our case, it's almost $2 and then click confirm. Once confirmed, the transaction will be sent to the blockchain and once the transaction is confirmed on the blockchain, then we will have our funds in our ledger. We see the confirmation in our MetaMask and we can check our ledger if the funds have uh, arrived in our ledger. So let's go back here to the app. We don't need that right now. Go to accounts and it might take a minute until it refreshes. And there it is, 0 0.05 Ethereum in our account. Here we can now stake it, swap it, buy some more, send it away and receive some more in our Ethereum account. For our sake or for the demonstration sake, I will also show you how you can send away the crypto. So we will go to send and then we will have to paste in the recipient address. For that, we go simply to MetaMask, select our wallet address and paste it in here. Then we continue, uh, we have to put in how much we want to send. We send the maximum amount and then we go hit continue, continue. And here is the part why you need your ledger. Now we have to review the whole transaction and we have to confirm it on the ledger. We see the amount, how much we want to send. Then we see the address to which address we are sending. And then we also see the maximum gas fees and then we either can hit accept or reject. We will accept the transaction and it will automatically be confirmed in our Ledger Live app. The transaction has been sent and then once the transaction is approved on the network, then we will see it in our MetaMask again. And this is why the Ledger is so important and secure because you have to yeah, you have to confirm each single transaction on your ledger, meaning like hackers and so on cannot move your funds without yeah, confirm on your ledger and then you need the physical thing to press the buttons. We see in our ledger life app that the funds are gone and we are left with a dollar. And if we go back to MetaMask, then we can see that we have almost 0.3 Ethereum in our account again, which we had previously. And we see here we receive 0.0484 ethereum in our wallet which was from the ledger we hope this video was useful for you and if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments we will happily answer all of them up here you will find some more videos about all the other hardware wallets we have tested unboxed and set up and also compared to each other so you know which hardware wallet you should buy for your crypto life please give the video a like subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next video bye bye